Thanks for watching our tutorial Google Cloud Identity together with our SAML app and manual provisioning. We'll use our SAML single sign-on app to sign in users that are authenticated via Google Cloud Identity or G Suite as it's formerly known. Um, together with manual provisioning. And with manual provisioning, we mean the users already exist in your uh, Atlassian application. So you either synchronize that in via LDAP or by some other way, but they already exist in a directory in your Atlassian application. So our SAML single sign on app only does the authentication part. Well, let's jump right into it and let's start um, in Google Cloud Identity. So I'm logged into adminggoogle.com going to go to apps, then uh, web and mobile apps, that's a new home for the SAML um, configuration, then I say add an app, drop down and say add custom SAML app, it then wants a name, so let me say demo Jira, um, give it a good name because that's then also the name of the app um, that people see on their dashboard and maybe give it uh, a nice icon too. Let's continue here. Now I need to download the metadata. And some metadata is a good way to exchange information quickly between the identity provider and our SAML app so that you don't have to do all the cut and paste that you would see from the values below in the page. Um, unfortunately, um, Google Cloud Identity doesn't um, allow that via direct link, otherwise you could also monitor it. So the only way is download that XML to your um, desktop and then upload it to our app later. Um, we'll do that step by step then. Okay, let's go to continue. Now it wants the ACS and ent uh, ACS URL and entity um, Well, that's actually the... Um, base URL of your instance uh, with slash plugin servlet SAML SSO, but our plugin uh, will show you that URL as well, and I'll show you that in a second too. Um, under the name ID section, um, it wants us to specify what's being sent as the username in the SAML response, and the default here is from the basic information in the profile, the primary email, so the primary email of the user will be sent as the um, username. If you want something different there, then obviously you have to adjust it here. Let's say continue. It's now asking us if we want to map any additional attributes. In this case, we don't want that because all the user information is already in um, Jira, but here you could um, send more information as some response uh, to our plugin, for example. Let's finish that. And then we are almost done. So here's our app. Um, now you see in user access, the app is um, off for everyone, so it's not enabled yet. That's the thing we need to adjust. So let's expand that panel here and then say on for everyone. Uh, on the left side, you see there are the org units. So you could also, for example, only enable this app for a certain org unit if you wanted to. I'm going to enable it for everyone here. Let's say save. And then we essentially finished with what we have to do on the Google Cloud identity side. Let's swap to our plugin. So here's my um, um, Jira uh, demo system. Let me just quickly go to users. Oops. Here you see I've only got two users in there and one is the CR demo one and that's the user we're gonna try and authenticate and log in later. Um, so just that you've seen that it's already in there. And so let's click on SAML single sign on. And once we go there for the first time, it'll actually start up in our uh, welcome wizard. The thing we want to do is add a new identity provider. Here we want to have um, G Suite, um, now called Google Cloud Identity. Um, and here we can go next. And also here's the link to the step-by-step um, -step documentation um, if you need it. Let's go to next. Here you actually see the entity ID and the um, ACS URLs, um, so you could have copied it from here. Um, I've already done the setup on the um, uh, Google Cloud site, so let's go to next. And I have a metadata XML file is what we want. Let's say select XML and here 
Google Identity Metadata, let's say import. Metadata import was successful, go to next. In this section, the wizard wants to know if we need to, um, if the usernames are the same on both sides. In this um, tutorial, they are, so we don't need to do any uh, changes here, but I'll just show you quickly. So if you uncheck this, um, you could uh, apply regular expressions, you could convert to lowercase, um, you could do a lookup um, via something else in the username. So um, here you can adjust really um, a lot of things around um, if you are in a situation where your users, usernames don't match in both directions. Let's go to next then. Here the plugin wants to know if you want to enable any of our provisioning features to create and update users. Since this is the manual provisioning um, tutorial, we don't want anything here. So we can go to save and next. And that's it already. So we can start with testing our um, settings. Let's say start. So what it's doing now is creating a, a what's called an authentication tracker. So um, this link here below, which I'm going to copy now, I'll open that in a second in an incognito window. It then redirects me to Google um, Cloud Identity so that we can um, log in there. And the whole progress and the results of it is also tracked in this um, uh, live window here that we can review it later on. So I copied that already. So let me open an incognito window. There it is. Let's paste this URL here. Now you see I get to G Suite, so let me log in. Can't really type today. Now we're getting redirected back to Jira. And here you see, I see the welcome to Jira page. That's the first time I'll, um, I log in with that user but the authentication um, worked. I can close this incognito window now. Um, and if I'm back in the um, uh, admin section of our plugin now, you see what happened in this authentication tracker. So it was a success. Uh, the user ID was recognized as CR Local 1 G Suite Lab Resolution DE. It's locked in. And um, just to mention it, you see all the summer requests, responses, uh, HTTP headers everything that has been um, exchanged around this authentication is collected in this authentication tracker. Should you run into any problem, you can actually um, download this tracker and attach it to support case, or you can open a um, support case straight away via the contact support button down here. Um, that lets you open up a, a service request straight in our um, Jira service management that we can help you. And it's also gonna attach this tracker and a little bit more information about your configuration, certainly no private keys or passwords, um, but a lot of things that will help us to uh, help you troubleshoot things quite quickly. But this has been a success, so let's go to next. Now this is the last, last page of the um, visit. Um, any, nothing we have done so far um, actually interfered with users' login. We had this special link to get redirected um, and test the login. If I now say enable SSO redirect, then all users will get redirected to um, um, G Suite in that case. So you can enable that now, say save and close, and then um, your configuration is active. Or if you prefer to enable that in the maintenance window, then leave it unchecked, say save and close, and you can always come back to the uh, plugin configuration later and enable it under the redirection settings. So that's it. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Um, if you run into any trouble, please reach out to us. So um, you can uh, book free screen shares or you can also um, just raise a support case in, in our uh, service test system. We're really here to help you and would love to have you as a customer. Thank you.